What's up, poker players? Hope you guys are out there crushing the tables. Today, we're going to take a look at my session from last night. Another productive session, up over $225. Lots of fun hands, some very interesting hands. Let's jump into the session analysis. First, let's check out that cash analysis graph. New all-time high for the 100K challenge. You can see how the graph is starting to increase exponentially, and that's because we are moving up in stakes and more money is being won in a quicker fashion. And the goal is to have that trend continue. Everything we are looking at today is on Hold'em Manager. The link for Hold'em Manager is down in the video description. All the poker play that we are going to take a look at was done on America's Cardroom, which is where I am doing my 100 100k challenge biggest hand of the evening came with pocket nines in the small blind we are playing at a 100 nl table full drawn to us and we raised a 4x on the small blind and we get three bets by the big blind big blind has not three bet with a premium hand yet pretty high three bet numbers and i think we can get in a hand with this player with the pocket nines out of position so i do make the call wind up flopping a nine now i know we can get in a hand with him i just check back he bets 14 i just called don't want to give away the value of our hand quite yet the turn is the queen of diamonds that board is very very draw heavy it connected with a lot of his three bet range as well so i'm just going to check back and try to get value from the draw hands or the hands that he could be playing for value he bets 31 essentially pot committing himself he was actually pot committed before that bet even was put out there but now he only has 21 32 behind him and we can easily get the rest of his chips in and he does make a call with the pocket twos and we have him drawing dead going into the river taking down a pot of over 150 dollars another hand with pocket nines this time we are in the hijack seat at the 100 nl table again raised to 3x we get a call from the player to our left and see a flop and once again we flop middle set this is a very dry board king high rainbow we decide to lead out this time because i see that this player has very low bet percentages and relatively low fold to bet percentages sandman jd makes a call and we see a turn of eight of diamonds i lead out again for about two-thirds of the pot and sandman makes a call there's a good possibility that this player has a king in his hand there's now 38 52 in the pot and we should try to figure out what the biggest bet that we can put in that a king would call with. So I put in $26 and this player does make a call. We do not know what he has, but I'm assuming it was something like king queen, maybe king jack. But we take down a pot of almost $90 with another set of nines. Still at the 100 NL table, we have ace king in under the gun plus one. Under the gun raises to 3x and we three bet to $10. Under the gun jams all in for the remaining 3150 in a stack we are almost getting two to one odds here and i'm going to be making this call against the short stacker almost 100 percent of the time so i do make the call see that we have a coin flip nine high rainbow flop and we hit an ace on the river finally those coin flips are starting to reverse from that last session you guys remember how bad that was back to the 100 nl table once again and we have pocket nines once again a lot of pocket nines going on in this session we get a limp from the cutoff and we just limp as well the big blind then raises to 5x this is usually going to be a pretty strong hand the cutoff calls and we're getting pretty good odds here four dollars into an eleven dollar pot with two relatively deep stacks so we do make the call and why Wind up flopping middle set once again with the pocket nines. We are on fire with this hand tonight, you guys. This is a pretty draw heavy board. Two tone, 10 high. We just check back and the player to our left bets 1350. And the cutoff player calls the 1350. There is going to be some strong hands out there or strong draws out there. I just call. I decide if I raise there, I'm pretty much giving away that we have a set and I'm planning to check raise the turn. I check back and then of course everyone checks the turn the river is the jack of spades a king queen now got there an eight seven got there on the turn if anyone was playing that i don't think anyone was because i think they probably would have bet it with the draw heavy board out there i bet 29 dollars. i think we could probably get a lot of hands to stick around maybe queens kings or aces maybe we can get an, an ace 10 maybe a jack 
queen, king jack, ace jack suited. There's a lot of hands we could get to stick around. And if we do get raised by the player to our left, Oki, we can make a decision here. But we're going to be good against almost the entirety of either of these players' ranges. So let's try to get as much value as we can and bet $29. No one does call though, and we pick up that pot of over 50 bucks, adding to the win total for the evening. Here's another interesting hand. We have king, queen suited in the small line. Full drawn to us, we make it 4x. Remember that hand we got in earlier? It was the pocket nines versus pocket twos, where we got this player to commit with the pocket deuces drawing dead going into the river. So we make it 4x, and this player three bets us to 16. 4x our bet. We are both pretty deep stacked here, and I think king, queen suited plays pretty well against this player's three bet range once again. We saw him do it with pocket deuces before. So I do make the call. There's 32 bucks in the pot. We have 97 11 in our effective stack and we wind up flopping an up and down draw to the nuts and two over cards with the king or the queen. I'm going to check back again and let this player continuation bet like he's shown that he likes to do. And he bets almost two thirds of the pot. 20 26 is the bet. We saw him do this with a pair under the board and I don't think he's going to be making the same type of play. And I see that he has a very high percentage of folding to flop three bets. So I just jam all in. This is going to limit a lot of the hands he's going to call with. And if he does call, we still are going to have very, very good odds drawing to nuts. And there's a good possibility a king or a queen would give us the lead in this hand as well. But we're just trying to put pressure on this player and push him off of one of his hands that probably isn't that strong. He could have a draw similar to ours with ace queen or ace king as well. Ace jack is going to have trouble calling here. A lot of times the only hands that are going to call to this bet are going to be flop sets. And that's a very small portion of this player's range. He could have jack 10 as well. But even against any of those type of hands, we still have a lot of outs drawing to an ace or a nine for the nuts. So he does make the fold and we pick up a pot of almost $70 with nothing but a king high. That was a big hand for us. Now let's take a look at what I thought was the most interesting hand from the session. It's a hand that we actually lost, but get ready for shit to get crazy. This was this was a little not so. We have ace deuce offsuit in the small blind. Folds around to us. First of all, I'm min raised. That was a misclick. I meant to bet more. Flop is ace high, rainbow. We flop two pair. I now bet two thirds of the pot and we get raised. I just make the call not to give away the value of our hand. There's now $8 in the pot and I'm probably going to check raise here on the turn. But this player bets $11 and now I think there's a good possibility that this player has a hand like ace seven or maybe ace jack. So I just make the call. I do think our hand is pretty strong and I'm just going to check call pretty much the whole way down. This player has 36 44 behind him and I put in a little bit of a blocker bet on the river and with the flush out there now I don't think an ace jack or an ace seven would re-raise here so I think we can still get value from a lot of the ace blank hands with the $10 bet I think in a deuce seven if that's what this player was playing is probably just gonna make a call here too but this player jams all in it's 26 44 for me to call into a pot of 76 44 and I remember going into the tank on this one and really thinking about it and I put him on a hand like ace seven ace jack ace deuce and every single one of those hands that he would be three betting the flop with that have value have an ace in them and that ace isn't going to be the ace of spades because we have it in our hand therefore he doesn't have a flush in his hand and that was my thought process and I thought I thought that there was a very small percentage of the time that he was just straight up bluffing the flop but it was going to be a very small percentage of the time because this player does play pretty standard numbers we do have a little bit of a history together so I wouldn't be surprised if he did straight up bluff the, the flop but it looked like he was playing a value type hand on the turn as well so to me it just looked way too bluffy that he would be jamming here and I thought that the chances of him having the flush were so small that I had to make this call getting three to one on my money I thought the chance of him having a flush there were way smaller than that so I do make the call and see that he had the queen five of spades and he did just straight up bluff that flop he straight up three bet bluffed on the flop 
put in a big turn bet with the flush draw. I could have raised again at some point. I didn't want to on the flop because I thought we were just going to get called with hands that beat us like a7. I think any ace blank hand probably would have folded. We probably could have three bet the turn. We might have gotten the same result though where a lot of the ace hands were going to fold. I think we kind of just got a little bit unlucky there. When the spade doesn't come on the river and we check back and let this player bluff at another pot we're gonna pick up a big pot right there we're gonna make money pretty much every time that this hand doesn't go runner runner he's got to go runner runner to get a straight he's got to go runner runner to get a flush and those are the only two times that we are going to lose to this hand so i'm not completely upset with the way we played it i could have gotten away from it on the river raise but i thought my thought process was pretty sound let me know what you guys think about this hand and all the other hands from this session down in the comment section below head down to the video description for links to America's card room and hold a manager if you have not signed up for America's card room yet use promo code DK poker to receive a $1,000 deposit match bonus as well as 50 tournament bucks give this video a thumbs up if you liked it we got another medal of achievement to cash in on quick before we get the balance update redeem that medal head over to the cashier and check that balance out over $3,000 current balance is $3,2402 new challenge high i'll see you guys soon with a new video but until then i'll see you out on the virtual felt